Alhamdulillah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ala ba'd. Ahl Islam is ordered to be one, to be one hand holding onto the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabihi al-kareem, wa'tasimu bihablillahi jami'an wa la tafarraku. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders us to hold on all together as, uh, to, the, to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and do not divide. And the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the Quran. And the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as some of the scholars have explained, is the is the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet. And in this day and age, when we see the danger of all the many groups and sects, which was prophesied to us by the Prophet Muhammad when he said, If Tarakatil Yahuda la Ihti was of Ain Firka, with Tarakat and Nasara let Natain was of Ain Firka, was a Tafariku had the Umma la Talata was of Ain Firka, Kulaha fin Nala the Wahida, Kulna menhi Yarasullah, Kala menkanalem, menkanalem, uh, menkanala Mithli wa makana alayhi was Habi al Yom, or Kemakala Nabi Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi was Sallam. So in this Hadith, which is the authentic Hadith, of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which has many different ruwayat. In this hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said that the Jews would break into 71 sects and the Christians into 72 sects, and his ummah would break into 73 sects, all of them in the hellfire except one. This is what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, that all of them would be in the hellfire except one. And Allah has ordered us to be uh, one. To be one, as one group, worshipping him and him alone, holding on to the strong handhold, which is the Qur'an and the Sunnah of the Prophet wasallam, loving his companions, anhum, and staying away from divisions and sectarianism and the evils that come within that. So in the hadith, in the Prophet wasallam, said all of them are in the fire except one. And then the companions asked, who are they? Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam answered by saying, those who are upon what I'm upon and what my companions are upon uh, in this day. Or kama qala nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In this hadith, we learn many, many things, but it stresses the point that we're supposed to be one ummah. We're not supposed to divide into groups and sects and destroy the Dawah to Islam. And what we've seen throughout history, this is not a thing that's new, that we see these people, the Rafa, the Shia, in this day and age, Cursing the companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, radiyallahu taalaanu majmaeen. This is not something new. This is not something which we should be surprised by. But rather, we have to prepare ourselves for it and prepare ourselves first and foremost with ilm, with solid knowledge, and knowing what the Quran, uh, studying the Quran and studying the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and studying the path of the companions, radiyallahu taalaanu, and realizing that the Allah subhanahu wa taala preserved Islam. In the form that it is today, through the companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, they were the ones who uh, came together and compiled the Quran. They were the ones who came together, who uh, preserved and and were the source of the uh, after the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And of course, it being the Sunnah being Wahi, after uh, first and foremost Allah subhanahu wa taala, that the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam radi Allah ta'ala anhu majmain, they were the ones who carried this deen. They were the ones who helped preserve Abu Huraira radi Allah ta'ala anhu with his kathra to riwayat over five thousand hadith radi Allah ta'ala anhu wa and may Allah be pleased with them all. They were the ones who carried and supported this deen. Mm -hmm. However, you have Ahla Raf, the 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 Shia. Those people who curse the companions of the Prophet ﷺ, those people who hate the companions of the Prophet ﷺ, those people who wish to cause doubt in the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ and the religion of Islam and distort it and distort its principles and actually call the people back to the worship of created things. They want us to worship their 12 imams. They want us to blindly follow uh, individuals who they claim are flawless, but in fact, we see that these people go to the restroom and die just like the rest of us, and they were, and even worse so, that they're disgusting individuals. Why? The the people who they worship, because most of them uh, call to the worship of themselves. And what we see, let's look through what some of the kalam of the people of Ahla Ilm, those people who came before us, people like Ibn Al-Qayyum of Jawziyyah, Rahimahullah Ta'ala said, he said, وَكَانَ حَوَلَيْ زَنَادَكَ 
yastatiruna bi rafd he was talking about the the shia and the dawla ta ubaidiyah which uh, they also referred to themselves uh, through lies fatimi fatimiyah or fatimiyin or the fatamids as they translate and ibn al-qayyim said so those people wa kana hawlai zanadaka zanadaka meaning those people who who are not a part of islam those those people are heretics yasatiruna bi rafd they used to cover you know used to uh try to deceive the ummah with their uh their rafd with their practices of the shia belief wayabtuna ilhad maf and they had pure kufr pure heresy and disbelief in as a part of their belief when وَيَنْتَسِبُونَ إِلَىٰ أَهْلَ الْبَيْتِ رُسُولِ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمْ وَهُوَ وَأَهْلَ بَيْتِهِ بَرَاءٌ مِّنْهُمْ نَصَبٍ وَدِينٍ So they associate themselves. They say that they are Ahl al-Bayt. They say that they are the families of the Prophet Muhammad صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمْ However, as Ibn al-Qayyim says, um, the Prophet صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمْ The Messenger of Allah صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمْ and his family are free from them through uh through uh kinship and free from them w in with regards to religious matters those people their religion is nothing but pure heresy it is far from the religion of islam when you see people beating upon themselves and cutting themselves in in a celebration of sadness this is uh a, a shirk a mushrik practice a practice of the pagans that has nothing to do with islam waqala ibn al-qayyim wa kana yaqtuluna ahl al-ilm wal iman so that the these uh shia these uh people who held this belief they used to fight the people of knowledge and kill the people of knowledge and they and the people of iman meaning the people uh, of righteousness wa yad'una ahl al-ilhad wa shirk Kufran, and they used to leave the people who ha, uh, you know were pure disbelievers and the people who were pagans and the people of uh, disbelief and apostasy they left those people but rather they fought the people of iman the people of faith and they fought the people of knowledge and killed them la yuharimuna haramin wa la yuhilluna halalin and they do not prohibit those things which are prohibited, meaning they're prohibited by Allah and His Messenger, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And they do not make what is law, uh, what is lawful, to be lawful, meaning that they reject that which is lawful, that which is uh, given to us through the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So we ask Allah the Almighty to protect us from the evil of the Rafidah and the evil of all those Shia sects and the evil of the Ahbash, those Sufis and others who attack Ahl Islam everywhere. They attack them in, in Yemen. They attack them in Ethiopia. They attack them everywhere around the world. We see these people, the people of Ilhad, the people of Zandaka, the people who claim to support Islam, but in fact everything they believe contradicts Islam. And they call bid'a sunnah, and they call sunnah bid'a, and they call shirk tawheed, and they and 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 make uh, uh and 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 make tawheed seem seemingly be to be shirk. And may Allah protect Ahl Islam everywhere.